<laughs> Let's talk about one of my favorite League of Villains member, Himiko Toga. I don't know what it is, but I find Himiko Toga so interesting as a character. I love her abilities, her strengths, her power, literally everything. So let's make an analysis video on her. I wanted to talk about her. We saw her in the latest chapter, so let's talk about her. First of all, I'm the one straw hat. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more My Hero Academia content, more Black Clover content, One Piece, whatever. Let's get right into this video. Play the intro. <laughs> I think we should start the video off with her appearance. I think every time I like to do an analysis video, I like to start talking about the character's appearance. So first of all, Himiko Toga is a female, obviously. She has bummed up hair, so it's, it's like in two buns, and it's basically kind of like this dirty type of blonde. She has yellow eyes. Also, she has the fang teeth. Usually when authors draw uh, people with fang teeth, usually it shows them that they're kind of wild. Like, for example, Black Clover, there's a, there's a woman named Merleona, and she has the fang teeth as well, and we know she's very wild. She spent most of her time in the forest. We also see her wearing a high school uniform, so we don't exactly know which high school she came from. It obviously wasn't UA, but uh, I'm not sure what high school she's from. She was 16 when we first met her, but now she's 17. So let's talk about her personality, okay? She is one psychotic girl. Basically, she does not care to kill. She will kill you easily. Doesn't mean anything to her. Killing is basically a pastime for her. She views Stain as a role model. She also appreciates Izuku and Ochako. She respects a lot of people, which is pretty weird. I don't know. I kind of find her unusual in that aspect. We don't have much of a backstory with her. We do know her relationship with Twice is pretty cool. She's always with him. I think that's her partner in the Vanguard Action Squad. But let's talk about her skills and abilities, okay? First of all, she is very, very powerful. She's not, she's not the one you want to mess with, okay? She is very athletic. She was able to outmaneuver Eraserhead, and if you don't know Eraserhead, he's basically he's basically quirkless because he goes against, up against people that have quirks, and he has to basically fight hand to hand because he removes their quirk, and then he fights them hand to hand combat. So he's always fighting people hand to hand. Toga is also very skillful with a knife. She is very stealthy, so she would be useful in reconnaissance, obviously, uh, being able to sneak in and sneak out, and obviously her quirk, quirk helps her with that. Her quirk is transform. Basically, she's able to, you know, ingest your blood, and then while she ingests your blood, she's able to turn into you. For example, if she ingests a little bit of your blood, she's only allowed, able to turn into you for a little amount of time. The more blood she consumes, the longer the time duration it lasts. Also, if she consumes multiple people's bloods, she has the, you know, options of choosing who she wants to transform into. Now, she, she doesn't get your quirk when she transforms into you. I don't believe she does, unless that's like some next thing or course she comes out and says, oh yeah, she does end up getting your quirk. That will make her even much stronger. I think it's only appearance-wise she takes your appearance. So let's quickly go over equipment. She uses combat knives because, you know, she needs to draw blood. So using anything that's sharp, anything that will cause you to bleed, that's obviously good for her. Uh, she uses this blood sucking machine which is basically like a needle and she could throw we've seen her throw it in the latest chapter she actually threw it in these two people she threw three of them and she just started ingesting the blood with her mask so these syringes they stick into you and they start absorbing blood and then they go through the mask and she starts drinking it so if you don't have a cut or you get her away from sharp objects she's still very strong obviously uh just in hand-to-hand -hand combat she was able to go up against the razor head as i said before she isn't a league member you would want to mess with. Now we could discuss the future for Himiko Toga, what's going to happen to her. There's two possibilities I could see with her. First, either she's going to become a good guy. And the reason I think this is because she, you know, views Deku in such a high, you know, she puts him on a high pedestal. So if she wants to follow in Deku's, in Deku's way, she could become a good guy. I don't know. I don't think she will become a good guy. I think she's going to stay with the League of Villains. I think she's, you know, iconic to the League. We all know her a part of the Vanguard Action Squad. I think her, Dobby, and Twice are the members that are always going to stay a part of the League that we're obviously always going to know. I don't think she'll die anytime soon. If, if Hibiko Toga dies, I don't think it's going to be now. I think she's a, she's a fan favorite amongst the, amongst the League of Villains. So I don't think uh, Horikoshi's going to want to kill her. If she joins UA, that would be pretty cool. I, I would like that. I don't know. Personally, I don't know. I feel like people would be mad if she joined UA. If, if there's somehow we could kind of, you know, have a uh, redemption arc for her, basically have her go through something that she realizes that, oh, I, I made mistakes, I've killed people for no reason, I've done all of this stuff, and now I just want to change my life, and she does something in order to obviously redeem herself, then if she goes on that route, that could be a possibility. But we'll see where it goes on from here. Other than that, I'm the one to Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you guys want more of these videos, like where we analyze the League of Villains members, because obviously right now we're just talking about the League in the chapters, so I want to make these League videos obviously right now when they're very prominent. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.